What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Gmaya's World. And we've been getting a lot of questions here about the Super Bowl prep tokens. How are you going to get that free Super Bowl elite player? Well, I'm going to go ahead and explain to you guys uh, pretty much what's been going on with it. Many of you guys have been asking about it since they first were released uh, last week. But because I didn't really, you know, get any of them, because I won a Super Bowl and I looked at the mission tab and it said I should have got one and I didn't get it until recently. So now that I see that it's actually working, I'm like, all right. You know, you guys are still asking about it. What are we supposed to be doing? What's up with the free player? Is it worth it? All that good stuff. We're going to talk about that. Now, I want to point out a few things, right? That quick sell, you want to be very, very careful to not quick sell any of these items. I don't know why EA did this. I think EA is just on a rampage and they want dudes to just accidentally quick sell it because usually they don't do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple things about the other collectibles that they have and what should have been done. But in some cases, you know, we make mistakes. We don't want things in our binder. We get rid of it. And then all of a sudden we're like, yo, EA, what's up? And they're like, yo, look, you should have quick sold it. So usually what they do is they, they'll do something like this. They'll say, uh, let's pick something like this, right? Like the team of the week token. They know that you need a certain amount of these team of the week tokens to get a free team of the year player, which a lot of us will be getting probably uh, that first week of February when they release the set. So they don't give you an option to quick sell it. I've already had some of you guys say, yo, bro, I accidentally quick sold it. What's up? You just got, you know, pretty much you're done. You're going to have to go and get an extra one because they're not more than likely, even if you contact EA help, I don't know if they'll refund you another one. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of weird, but it's like, they're going to be like, yo, why would you quick sell it when they told you exactly what you needed? And trust me, I understand. My binder, I keep a lot of stuff in my binder because every time a new promo comes out, I utilize the cards that I have in the binder to kind of get it lower. Like, I got it down from like almost a thousand to where it's at right now. I think it's like 848 because I did a lot of sets and I made a lot of these players team of the year, sold a few of them for like almost, what, 600, 700K. And I accumulate my cards to do that and I store my nats and I wait for every series. That's why you'll see that they'll start to come down gradually because you know at the end of this series, I don't have anything else to do. But at the beginning of the next series, they always release new sets and they do different things that help you to be able to make currency out of the cards that you previously had. So that's very, very important to understand to know what the usefulness is of the cards in your binder because all of these cards are gonna amount to a lot of ching ching very, very soon. These gnats that are chilling, they're going to be gone and we're going to be chilling, right? So that's just something that I wanted to point out to you guys before uh, we go ahead and take a look at the missions tab where they explain how you go ahead and get these prep tokens and what is going to be the usefulness of these Super Bowl elite players. Now, obviously the players are going to go into sets. Now, a 86 Super Bowl, Super Bowl player probably won't be worth all the time that you're going to have to put into this, but if you're able to get other things outside of that, that is gonna be something that's gonna help you tremendously. So you're gonna to need to understand a few things, right? This is the way that you're gonna figure it out. You're gonna to go to the NFL playoffs tab and you're gonna see the Super Bowl prep launch. Now I showed it to you briefly back when they first released it, but now because it's getting so much closer to it and you guys wanna know what's going on, this is pretty much the things that you're gonna to need to do. Now, this is a weekly workout. I don't know when they reset it. Probably they'll reset it on Friday. I don't know what they're doing but I'm not playing solo battles and I'm not playing squads. So these are gonna be ways that I'm not gonna be able to do it. When you read what it tells you, you collect 12 of them to be able to exchange them for an elite Super Bowl player in February. I don't know if they're gonna give us other, you know, other methods because by no money spent players, I know you guys are gonna be all over it. Maybe you're no money spent and you play solo battles and you'll probably play the squad games to get the additional ones, but I see myself getting three a week. So unless they're able to do it for four weeks, I'm not gonna have 12. Even if I'm not going to be able to do it, I'm going to still show you guys ways that you can get it. It's not about me. It's about you guys being able to get the things that keep you and your team growing. I could care less about playing solo battles, but some of you guys are going to do it, do what's needed because it's like, yo, I'm not spending no money on this game and I feel you. But because I play the game and I stream it, I can't continuously go out there and get manhandled and mollywhopped. Now, will it happen? Yes, I will get blown out from time to time, but I will change up what I'm doing and I will get better and get better players. And this is part of getting it for free, okay? And it's also uh, interesting that many of you guys also are gonna be getting um, your, th your 93 to 94 overall uh, power pass that I recently got. So I, I just got this recently, but you know now we're you know a couple of days away from it. But the next one is gonna be a 95 overall power pass. So there are ways for you guys to grind it and understand by just simply completing a lot of the things that are readily available, but Super Bowl can be big. And I'm gonna explain to you why this is gonna be bigger 
in if you don't buy packs or you don't buy bundles this can be very very huge right because it's one way or the other me if they do something that's really really crazy and i want something i'll get a bundle every now and again some of you guys are strictly no money spent unless you're getting like those five dollar packs at the end of you know you know the series when you go through and you grind the mutt level uh, you get that stuff there uh for me it depends on what the card is like randy moss is my soft spot so i'll go ahead and do that if they drop a calvin you know i'll be all over it uh at wide receiver a limited maybe something like that i'll go crazy but those are just some of the cards that i that i really really like but for my viewers that are strictly no money spent this is what this is about you're gonna have to sacrifice and play those solo battles if you don't want to and you're gonna have to play squads now the free player getting back to that the elite some of you guys are making fun of it it's gonna be a uh, you know it's gonna be probably a, a 81 82 83 we don't know exactly what they're doing yet but you guys are probably right ea sports is not known for being friendly all right they will give you something in your pack where you'll be like all right cool this is ridiculous okay so i'm not saying that it won't happen what i'm telling you is that we have to be prepared for it so how are we going to be prepared for it we're going to do exactly what i just showed you at least for most of my viewers that you know we play weekend league so we're going to win head-to-head -head matches we play the challenges because we're going to have to grind for month level 80 in like a week and then you know winning a head-to-head -head super bowl some of you guys are not in legend um but you can win a super bowl you know what i'm saying guys you, look you guys watch me play and you see what I do. If there's something that's going on that can be useful, like when I was running the Odd Blitz, I'll run it. EA Sports low-key patched it and it doesn't work as well. Low-key, you don't even need to put your running back on the side of the Blitz anymore. You can just step up in the pocket and the guy runs away from you. It's really, really stupid. So it's like subtly not the same way. So we got away from that. And I showed you guys like, look, we got to start sending everybody again. Uh, we have to evolve. So I'm going to change up. We're going to find different ways to get stuff done but we're gonna do it together. We're gonna build our teams, you know, regardless if it's no money spent. Like I told you guys, I have different levels of everything from age groups to the overall of your teams, different variations of everything. It doesn't matter. Whatever level you are and how you're playing, you're gonna play your best with the information I'm gonna give you. So it doesn't matter about anything else. So right now I have three, cause I just showed you how I got them. I told you they would have to do it for another three times for me to get 12. Am I holding my breath over EA doing it? No, because at the end of the day, we have to see what the value of it is. And once we see what the value of it is, we can go from there. Like, I don't even know what they're gonna do with this hot cocoa, because low key, a lot of the cards that were frozen players, you know, John o. Smith was good. Um, you had that Devin White, you know, he's pretty good, but what are we gonna do with those? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's really, really weird with the stuff. Okay, I don't need this Legends token, right? We can just go ahead, oh, it can't be sold. All right, cool, whatever. They'll probably put a quick sell value for about one coin or something ridiculous like that, and we'll go from there. So at this point, some of you guys may have five, some of you guys may have three, but I'm telling you right now, just be careful. Do not sell it for any reason at all. Just hold on to it. If you've already sold it, like I said, there's not much that we can do at this point. You can go to at EA help on Twitter. You can follow claim at help.ea.com and see what they can do. Uh, maybe, you know, say your dog ate it, you know, like the homework thing, like, bro, like what? Like you got to have some kind of weird excuse. I don't know if it's going to work out, but I just want to make sure that everybody has the opportunity to take advantage of the free card. So with all of that being said, uh, you know, you guys want to know like how we're preparing for the Super Bowl content, what's going to be happening with that. Well, we have a couple of weeks, you know, before we have to worry about that, because the timeline is going to be, we have the next team of the week next week. Okay. After that happens, then right after that, we're going to have team of the year. Then Super Bowl content is going to be all inside that. So that we're going to have a whole bunch of new cards coming out. Uh, some of the prices of cards that we currently have may go down. Some of it may go up. It depends. But again, re regardless of what happens, you still have to be able to take advantage. And I really, really believe this. And a lot of you guys understand it. You have to be able to take advantage of anything that EA is putting out for free. And that is the primary focus, because if you do not do that, you're going to have a lot of issues. That's going to be a major, major issue if you're not able to do that. So for now, um, we're going to hold on to those tokens. We're going to see how many more weeks they give it to us. When it resets, I'll probably tweet it out, uh, maybe put it on Instagram, Facebook, you know, probably talk about it on Twitch, all at GMI's World. For all of you guys that are already there, most of you guys are there already. You guys are always around, ready to go. And I love you guys for that. Thank you guys so much as we continue to grow. And if you're not part of the fam yet, feel free to go ahead and do so. Uh, drop by, drop a line, see what's up. Let me know what's going on right now uh, in the comment section. Also, let me know what do you think will be the best Super Bowl content player? Not the MVP. We know the MVP is probably going to be Patrick Mahomes. I believe the Chiefs will probably win the Super Bowl again. But I'm thinking about like maybe John Elway with another strong arm quarterback. Like something 
something like that. Let me know what you guys are thinking about that. I think it could be very interesting uh, with the comments that we get. And other than that, I want you guys to enjoy your day, continue to be safe, and I'll see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.